Hello, and thank you for joining me. My name is Michael Voss. I'm president of MV Consulting, and I thank you for being with us today. I wanted to take a moment to just share something with all of our viewers out there across the entire internet. We wanted to take a moment and just, I just wanted to share with you the times that I got my five bronze medals and my two Medal of Honors. I shouldn't even mention the fact that I have six, six Purple Hearts. That was a lie. That's not true. Well, yes indeed, I was and am a former Marine, served in the United States Marine Corps. I did not gain any of those medals. But I wanted to say that because I want to highlight something that has been lost over the last several days in listening to everyone speak about the health care reform, which is a wonderful debate and a very important issue, which we do believe needs to be stated. But the thing that was lost in that time was the decision of the Supreme Court against the Stolen Valor Act. Now, I'm sure a lot of people out there are unaware of what that is. In a nutshell, the Stolen Valor Act makes it a crime to make a false impression, to say that you are a military award winner, when in fact that's a lie. Now, how important is it to have a medal? How important is it to be a Medal of Honor winner, or to have a bronze star, to have received a Purple Heart? Well. It's actually very important. It's something that stems back to the very birth of this nation. In fact, it was General George Washington in August 7th of 1782 when he stated, the name and regiment of the person with the action so certified are to be entered in the Book of Merit, which will be kept at the orderly office. Should any who are not entitled to these honors have the insolence to assume the badges of them, they shall be severely punished. The birth of the nation, the first president of the nation, and the first medals of honors and awards of merit that were given by this nation. That's how important it was considered to our president, the first president. Today, that's no longer important. Let's think about that for a moment. Let's seriously think about that. Now, for those who know me, for those who know me, they know that not only am I a Marine, my father was a Marine before me. And he served in Vietnam. He volunteered for Vietnam, where he received his Purple Heart. My father, God bless his soul, also suffered from PTSD and Agent Orange. He had multiple injuries and wound up receiving 100% disability because of that war. His sacrifice was signified in that Purple Heart he received. Tomorrow, you could go out and get a counterfeit, walk around and say you deserve that Purple Heart. You could say that you were from Iraq. You fought in Iraq alongside our many, many soldiers who have honorably served this nation and according to the decision by the Supreme Court you deserve that because it's just a lie it's not important it's protected speech it's protected for you to go out there and to insult America and the memory of memory, America and the people who served in this nation we're talking about insulting people that we honor today, like the POWs from Vietnam, and those who served in World War II, those who served in World War I, where all the memorials we have decorating Washington in their honor for their sacrifice, for us to have the ability today to speak about any subject, whether it's health care, whether it's about whether President Obama or Mitt Romney should be leading this nation or anything else. 
that sacrifice is no longer important. That sacrifice is secondary to the ability of someone to be able to lie. I disagree with that. I believe many veterans disagree with that. I believe those who are serving today in Iraq and in Afghanistan, those who are serving in bases across this world, protecting people and protecting America, disagree with that. I think the tradition of America disagrees with that. I think the medals and honors we have awarded to those who have deserved it and paid the ultimate price of their lives disagree with that. A lie is a lie. A lie about a, earning a medal of honor and distinction in our military service, that's not just a lie. That's an insult to America and to all the people who have served to make sure that we have the right to do all the things we do today. Justice Alito on the Supreme Court, who wrote the dissent opinion, stated in part, surely it is reasonable for Congress to conclude that the goal of preserving the integrity of our country's top military honors is at least as worthy as that of protecting the prestige associated with fancy watches and designer handbags. Isn't that incredible? Think about it. Counterfeit watches, you have a counterfeit Rolex. There is more of a penalty by law for a counterfeit Rolex than there is to say that you are a Medal of Honor winner. There is more of a penalty to produce and sell fake Gucci bags than it is to say that you have a Purple Heart because you serve this nation and lie about it. There is an imbalance there. Something is wrong. Perhaps, perhaps I am too sensitive. Perhaps I'm too close to it because I believe my father's, what he gave physically and mentally and emotionally and what it has cost everyone, maybe that's too close. But I actually believe it isn't. I believe there is something worthy in what he sacrificed and what millions and millions of Americans throughout the entire nation, through the entire history of our nation, have done. If you agree, like this video. Share it with others. That's all I ask. Maybe, maybe, the, another Supreme Court with other justices may one day also agree. And perhaps then we can respect our military men and the sacrifices they have provided to all of us. I thank you, I wish you well, and enjoy the 4th of July.